Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Nom Nom Galaxy. Today's beverage is. Uh, that's um, that's quite nice, but you can't slurp it. It's actually Heinz Creamy Tomato Cup of Soup. It is a uh, tomato soup, which I really, really like, but um, it's in that middle ground where I do like a bit of dippy bread with soup, but this, well, it's not thick enough to dip, but um, it is nice and creamy. Anyway, the reason I'm having that as well is because it's cold outside, and also this is a game about soup. That's what Nom Nom Galaxy is. You uh, are put onto a planet, and you have to uh, gather resources and make soup, and then send that out to the galaxy, and then make loads of profit. It's a game that I featured several times before on the channel, but not in... no, not recent times. It's certainly not this year, so at least five months since I featured this, and probably I would guesstimate about eight months, maybe even a year before uh, since I last uh, featured this game, and it's not that I forgot about it. I always uh, knew that the game was there, but it... Um it's in early access, so obviously it's things like waiting for things to change, and it's one of those games where I only really played, I played uh, quite a bit of it, but then, you know, there wasn't many updates, and it didn't seem to be getting updates, so I thought, I'll just leave it until something happens, but um, I did get a, a tweet about a month ago saying, oh, you should try that game again, there's been a massive update, and lo and behold, there has been a fairly uh, big update to the game, so I thought I would just give it a go, I haven't played this, as I said, since the last time I featured it on the channel, but we're going to do uh, Corporate Conquest, which I believe is the campaign, we've got, uh, this is the Supcon Valley. Uh, the OPP Operation uh, Portage uh, Production, which is monitored train facility, uh, middle of man uh, middle management, learn the basics of production. Basically, it's the uh, the tutorial, isn't it? So we'll start that one off. This is the tutorial for the game. We might even just get this one done. The OPP, the Galactic Soup Association, the GSA, offers training facilities for soup production. Hopeful start a career, bringing happiness to the galaxy today. Or oh, next, and yeah. Who has the favourite flavour? Who knows? There's our nice little crash landing, even though it's on a training planet. I don't know why that is the case. There we go. We've, we've crashed. And then, oh. <laughs> Sorry about the bumpy landing, Astro Worker. Honestly, I am. Ha ha ha, basically. He's saying, yeah, you git. I'm your boss, Robo Sacho. Uh, today is your first day as a loyal employee of Supco, the galaxy's most ambitious soup company. You will scour the galaxy for new ingredients, build automated soup factories, and battle rivals for market share of the soup sales. Good, good, good. But first, let's get you to the junior factory. It should be simple enough to get it running. Otherwise, your orientation days will also be your last day. First, you need to find uh, the company Buzzsaw as you... What? The fact? Oh, the oh yeah, the buzzsaw that cuts uh cuts the train up and stuff, doesn't it? Uh, company buzzsaw, you appear to be missing. Uh, if you've lost it, it's coming out of your wages. That's not good. Anyway, yeah, click and drag. We move around. I uh, click and drag. What am I on about? We we can uh, left <laughs> go left, right, up and down. Yeah, and we can jump with space. And if you hold it, I believe yeah, you do a bit of a climb there. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. There we go. I I always like the way this is a bit of a curved. It's always curved. You can see. You know, it's um you're supposed to be on like a, a round planet as far as I can I'm, I can tell. Anyway, we'll jump up here. There we go. Come on, up, 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 and then I believe we can... Oh, your astronaut can only store so much oxygen. Oxygen pockets like this will refill your meter and keep you breathing, okay? Uh, you have to fill out a whole bunch of pit work whenever an astronaut... Oh, I have to fill out a whole bunch of work, uh, pit work when an astronaut... <laughs> worker dies so be considerate and try not to die or you will be fired uh, I'm pretty sure that's the least of my problems at that time let's do a bit of a sprint yeah you can sprint and then we can pick up there we go we found it it's uh, a pulsar perfect tool for terrifying through soft green rock so yeah we can grind a path and yeah we can go right click and we can saw down this always reminds me of the um the sort of circular saw thing from um, who framed roger rabbit when uh, judge doom's trying to chop him down and stuff right at the end him and eddie so it's, uh, it's an interesting one that one don't know why it comes to mind uh, these blue blocks are matter. We'll use matter to build things. That's right. Yes, you have to collect matter and then use that to build different things. Let's just keep going down here. Cut, 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 cut. There we are. Let's just keep digging away and see what we can get. Uh-huh. There we go. And dig a little bit further down. Oh, that's a block that's going to fall right down. Yeah, this is the this is the tutorial. I don't I don't know whether there was a tutorial for the game before. We can go up here, can't we? Yeah, we can. And this is probably going to teach us how to use ladders. I think I know how to use ladders. This isn't community. We don't actually have a... Uh, we can press Alt, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Uh, with this, this isn't community where there's a welcome to ladders. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, one or two people will get that reference. Right, we'll keep on digging away here and we'll see if we can get to... Uh, look at that, that's all nice water underground there, that's pretty good. I do like the sort of exploration part of the game where you do just explore and find things. Oh, look, it's a heart, look. It's like a... it's a heart, but um, sort of ironically it's full of oxygen, which actually that should be a big lung. 
you see, because it's, it's full of full of air, and yeah, just keep moving on. Right, <laughs> yeah. I do like the explore, exploring bit. Oh, this is bad, because as soon as I dig this out, the whole thing's going to collapse. So let's just dig to about here and then go dig, 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 and leg it before we die. There we go. Right, so it looks like we are at the factory. So uh, here we are. This is the training factory uh, on Ezbear Essentials, but missing a few vital parts. You'll have to replace the destroyed machines and corridors so the factory can start making soup. Start by adding a shiny new soup machine to the open construction menu. So I'll open the construction menu. Uh, I believe it was tab, was it? Press tab to open the construction menu, and then we need to build a soup machine. Uh, you can't make soup without a soup machine, and if you don't make the soup, our market share will fall. Okay, fine. So let's click on the soup machine. One thing that still hasn't been improved is the um, the the keyboard and mouse spot. I believe this game is much better with the Xbox 360 controller or any other controller, basically. But uh, you know, other controllers are available and all that. But still, it looks like it's. Uh, Probably better with that one. Great. Uh, now more. Uh, great. More of our factory is now receiving power. The next, let's build a soup factory. Oh, power. I didn't know power was in this. Uh, we need to build soup rockets. So we need to go over there and actually build a soup rocket. So we go over here and we build a soup rocket. Yes, I know how this works. You place a soup rocket there. And what the hell's happening over there? Oh, we've got some little choppy robots. Oh, look. There's them robots. Um, Bill and Ben? No. I can't what they're called now, but they carry the soup along, but they're the new choppy robots. Finally, um, a, piece of corridor, a piece of this corridor needs to be rebuilt. Open up the construction menu and we'll fix it. So, there we go. We'll open that up and we'll build a corridor and zero G elevator. Okay. Right, corridor and we will rotate it like that and we'll go down. Ah, yes, and we get a zero G elevator. That's much better. Uh, we're back up and running in no time. Now let's find some trusty ingredients to put into the soup machine. I think some blue cap mushrooms are growing below the factory. Pop down the zero uh, bit thing and we'll get some ASAP. Yeah, head straight down and then, oh, we drop into water. That's not good, so I don't know how we're going to fix that problem. Right, there are some zero G, uh, some mushrooms here, so we need to, um, do we need to bash these? Use punch or the buzz saw to have some ingredients. Press E to carry them, so if we just go, eh, eh. There we go, and we can pick them up, right, and now, that looks perfect for a soup recipe I want to try out. Take the blue cap back to the factory, please, use the ladders to get back up there, and hurry. Why hurry? Uh, yeah, but this is the, I guess this is the, just the tutorial, but, um, it's actually really fun to play. I, uh, that's one of the things, as I said, uh, I, I used to play the game quite a bit, and then sort of didn't really bother because there wasn't much updates and that, but, um, every time I feature it, people really like to see it, and it's just a fun game. Anyway, this is our soup factory, so we put one in there, so now we need to combine them with different things. Well done, but we need to, uh, two ingredients to blend a tasty can of soup. Our robot workers have the right idea above, they are making cans of creamed uh, corn bug soup. Okay, I know where you can find some to uh, tomatoes. Oh, that's right, because there's, like, weird tomato creatures. That'll make an amazing new soup flavor. Let's go and explore. So... When it means explore, follow the marker. So uh, to the uh, tomato nest. Okay, that's that's not good. That should be. A, can we go up there? Yes, it is. Oh, there's the cannons as well. They shoot some stuff. Right, so we're gonna go up and around here. I do like this water. The water is very nice as well. Right, we'll splash down. Splash down there. Uh, oh, we can press. Oh, hey, look at that. Swimming is fun, but uh, listen to us about this important. Uh, up there at the top right corner is our market share indicator. Another training group is competing against us. We need to be quicker to make the market share. That's pretty good. I like that. I like the swimming there. And you press space to do a little extra bit of space. God, look how far, look how far you can jump up in the water. Don't think that would be accurate, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just dig around. So we're trying to get up to that tomato plant up there. So. I guess we'll dig up this way here. Uh, risk of going tomatoes comes with a very slight risk of death, but we'll have to kill one to get an ingredient, okay? Tomatoes can be pretty uh, vicious critters when they want to be, and will gang up on you if you attack the nest. Most dangerous creatures uh, make the tastiest soups. <laughs> Take a few of them out and collect one of the delicious tomato steaks they drop. Okay, that's really, really weird. <laughs> the game has got a... Yeah. It, it's a bit Hitchhiker's Guide in that sort of sense, like a tomato plant. It's Yeah, it's weird. So, saw that guy. I've sawed him for one. That's, that's working on there. Come on. There we go, and I managed to kill him, and I'll pick him up, and... Oh! Oh, they're after me. Okay, get out of there before they get you. Yeah, run away, run away. <laughs> Good grief. Right, let's just get away. Oh, there's some more things down there. I'm, uh, I'm interested to see just how much they've uh, they've added. I mean, I don't know exactly how much has been added, but obviously all of this is new, and um, I think there was water, but I don't know if you could swim in it. I think you just sort of floated on the top, but... Uh, have changed. A bit. I'm sure they've changed the the way it looks at the back as well. It's a good looking game, actually. It's obviously not 
it's not over complicated, but it, you know the aesthetic's very nice. Let's just fling that in there, and there we go. To to mushroom basically to mushroom soup. Excellent. The soup machine will return the two grains into a delicious kind of to mushroom soup, ready to be shipped off and sold. Once it is split, out, uh, split out a can of soup, pick it up and pop it in the soup rocket. Now you can get them robots there. Them walking back and forward, they can actually um, fling it in these themselves. Right. So we pick it up and we go over there, and it'll go woo 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 woo, -woo and then fire off. There we go! Soup! Fantastic. So, soup sent. Yay, everybody's happy. <laughs> right, okay. Wow, I didn't actually think you could do it, but you've got this factory back on track. Maybe you can be trusted after all. Excellent. I don't know if that's it, but I'm going to go down while my soup's on the way. Oh, delivery! We've got a delivery now. You can see it's already got there. So... That's all good. There's the soup, and hopefully, the, yeah, they're all necking soup. They're all soup addicts, basically. Speaking of soup, mine's getting cold. Mm. I need to neck that quick because that's getting quite cold. Now that the factory is able to ship soup once uh, once more, we need to be ready to defend it. Let's add another shot uh, shot tower to the uh, top. Let me see our market share is going as well. Plus five, so we need another shot tower. So we'll just open up that menu. And uh, we'll put a shot tower there, and you see it needs power by the look of it, which is all good. Yeah, I think power's a new thing. Uh, the training uh, the training group is sending some invaders out where look for the skies and be ready to defend the factory. Rival invasion. Protect the factory from invasion. Punch it if you have to. Okay. So you can see they're coming along from there. That's not very nice. I wonder if we can do that, though. That would be good if we could do it as well. So I don't want to stand on top of these shots. Oh, there's my rocket. There we go. So I do need to get more stuff. Oh, there we go. There's one of them horrible pig bomb things. Looks like they are getting taken out quite quick, and I can actually chop them down myself as well, save some shots. Just hold, just hold this here, and they're going to go into it. <laughs> they are as well. They're just going straight into it themselves, which is stupid things. There we go. Yeah, just chop this down. You do get some... I don't think it's experience. Oh my good grief, there's a lot more of them than what I'm uh, used to here. That, I'm sure that's a lot more. The, but they are dying quicker as well. So maybe that's been balanced. Because you used to be able to shoot these ones several times. And it used to take uh, loads of damage. But you, you didn't used to get all of them like that. So they're done. Well done. You really have proven yourself an, uh, might, uh, an, uh, an asset, I think. Uh, our super rivals won't have been expecting much resistance. But you showed them. Your fangs, excellent. You've cle uh, got almost 100% market share. Sure, there'll be no stopping us. Excellent. Do we need more? I think it's going up. I think we'll get it 100%. I think this might be the training mission done. Dinner! That's it. Well done. You've shipped enough soup to beat the trainers and steal their market share. But there are many other planets in the galaxy and more rivals to conquer. Prepare to leave, Astro Worker. Robo guy out. Huh. Is that it? Is that the basic one? I think it is. So what's this next one here? That is industrial strength, advanced training, uh, advanced training facilities for soup production administrators or personnel responsible for their own continued existence. Yeah, should we have a check on this one out? Let's have a quick look. I I really want to see what the bot what bots we have because there was always um, a couple of bots. Oh, let's just drop that one down there. So we'll go up here. I wonder if this is going to be find the find the pressure cooker, swim to the shore and, and get to the training facility. Welcome to GSA2, the university acclaimed Astro Worker Training Facility run by the Galactic Super Co uh, Association. Association? Incorporation. Incorporation isn't a word. I just made that up. Many Astro Workers have passed through this facility and gone to the Interstellar Super Great. <laughs> gone to Interstellar Super Greatness. Good grief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just head down. I remember you also do research as well, but I don't know where that is. If I dig through that, will it uh, will it fall out the sky? It won't fall out the sky. But we need to go to here. About time, just ahead is the purpose-built soup training facility. Call it the pressure cooker. Here you'll get a taste of real factory life, maintenance, robot automation, and most importantly, market share. Use your first day to look around and inspect the training facility. Uh, there's a few errands to run. Follow those mark arrows and get to work. Okay, that's fine. So we need to head over here. So... Follow the markers. What's this one first? Factory's office is in need of repair. Press E to learn how. So, repairing damaged parts is easy. Your factory, especially your office, is extremely important. If the office gets destroyed, the factory is useless. So, repair quickly before we're attacked. So, hold down Control to open the maintenance menu. And there we go. And then we can repair it for any amount of money. And again, yeah, it's more gamepad related. You really need a gamepad to play this game properly, I think. Let's head down to this one. That's a sleeping robot. Oh, punch the robot to wake them up. There you go. That, now it's woken up. That's fine. I didn't even know you had to do that. I hope there's no punch micromanagement game because that would just be terrible. Right, this one here. 
Uh, soup machines. Some of these soup machines require ingredients. Press E to learn how. This should be second, uh, this should be second nature by now. If not, we need to have serious discussion regarding your future. Fill these soup machines with different ingredients, and obviously we get market share. What's this thing here? What's this going to tell us? This is going to tell us it's going to fling stuff up. So, um, do you want to do that? I see. I, I don't want to go here because I know we're just going to pick these things up. This ah Travis, sole purpose in life to throw soup cans, making them a welcomed uh, addition to any Astroworkers Robo force. Additional advanced QD11 brain. Travis can switch between throwing cans up or down. Just punch him in the head to cycle his memory banks and change his mind. That is a new one. All right, we can go down here. Let's go down to the bottom. What's this? This is a oxygen flowers. Ah, oh, that's an interesting one. Let's just punch these things here. And that looks like that's not like a conveyor belt. Ah, see, conveyor belts were always in the game, but I never really used them a lot. Let's just make a double mushroom soup. There you go, mushroom mountain soup. That's fine. And then what will happen is that these guys, yeah, we'll close that down because I'm I'm starting again now. These guys will pick the soup up once it's done, and then they'll head down. Ah, yes, okay, I see. Right, let me just. Uh, punch this thing here. The idea is that you don't want to generally have too many soup machines that do the same thing. There you go, they're going to pick it up. That's Charles Charles and Charlie, I think it is. It might be Charles and Charlie. I've got some uh, sticky grass stew as well. Fantastic. Mm. There we go. So they're going to bring it along. Right? And then they're going to bring it to him, which will then fling it upstairs. So I'm going to go upstairs, and then they'll fling it right up. No. No, what's happened is... Get off. Why have they not... <laughs> That's not worked out. See, they're not they're not carrying it. You need to go over there. It should be it should be flung up here. And then what happens? That's a sword. That's a sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna get that sword. There we go. And now I have a sword. Who's leaving all these deadly weapons lying around? Oh no. That's the fabled Yamazura Mazza 2 sword with batteries included. Is that a really big choppy sword? It probably is a really big choppy sword. Oh, it is as well. Yes, good. All right. So what will happen is that guy will fling these, uh, this soup up. Watch this. That soup should be flung up like that. Nope. Now I've hit him. Now we should fling it up. There we go. It's because I changed his mode, you see. So now he flings it up. He was trying to fling it down. And now what will happen is that the rocket launch it. Yeah, so that's where the automation comes from. And I think that's just went through. Oh, that said failed. Ah, oh, that's not good. Something's obviously in the way then. We need to sort that problem out, don't we? Good grief. And that's some more. That's some more guns and stuff. You know what? I'm going to leave it here because um, it's probably not. I thought it was going to be a quick tutorial. But this is, this is lo there's loads of stuff to do here. And... You know what? I'm, fe I'm feeling I'm feeling a series coming on. If uh, if if the campaign is actually at least semi-complete and we can get a couple of episodes out of it, I may even do a, a, a construction series on this one. I don't know what you think. Let me know, and um, I think I'll take it from there. Yeah. Anyway, No Num Galaxy. It's still as fun as I remember, but it's uh, well as to be expected. It's had a, a year's worth of polish on it, so that's all good. I need to get rid of that thing though. Definitely need to get rid of, get rid of that thing up there because it's um, yeah, it, it it's failing. It's um, it's crashing into stuff. Can we get rid of that? Press E. Hmm. Remove this corridor. How do we do that? Maintenance probably. Uh, demolish. Yep, that's gonna. Oh yeah, that does actually just just blow it up. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there because uh, I'm just gonna end up playing the tutorial for ages and that. But I I want to go through and uh, make sure I understand it all before maybe we even do some more games of this. Comments in the comments. Let me know what you think about that one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.